Hi there, nice of you to drop by. This is a video about my favorite paint scheme or library called Jolly Rogers. The kit is Italeri in 148 scale. This will just be a straightforward build with slight repairs and adjustments. From sprucing up an otherwise bland pilot seat to enhancing the Tomcat's cannon. No fancy weathering, just simpleton clean build. I bought this Italeri kit as it was reasonably priced and fits my waning budget. Most of you would contend that the Italeri kits are not as good as the likes of AMK, Great Wall Hobby, or Tamiya. They are not at the top of the rank. However, what I like about this kit are as follows. Number 1. Canopy fit is good. Number 2. No shape is better than Academy. And number 3. Reasonably priced. The negatives are Number one, fuselage halves have to be joined with an upper part and a lower part. Now this is different from the standard left and right fuselage halves normally found in, on standard kits. Number two, the section of the air intake of gaps would need to be filled. Number three, some minor fit issues but I attribute it to uh, some warping due to storage. Other than that, it's my money's worth. To spruce up the pilot seat, I use the aluminum cover of an energy drink product, some putty, lead wire, and copper wires. To add the green monitor effect to the cockpit panel HUT, I used the laminated foil colored green, which I bought from an art store, then glued them with PVC glue. For the RIO section in the radio, I stippled a clear resin mix.
In filling small gaps, I use stretch screw to cover the most part by gluing it. Then for good measure, I apply an acrylic putty. Once dried, I then sand it to a smooth surface. Now this is the air intake gap I mentioned a while ago, which is a bit annoying because it is difficult to reach when filling and sanding.
I decided to replace the hydraulic piston of the landing gear with a brass tube. The plastic wasn't a clear-cut cylinder shape anymore, so I had to replace them. To emphasize the cannon hole of the aircraft, I used an engraving tool and then painted it afterwards.
To enhance the aircraft's front nose lamp, I cut an aluminum foil using a regular single puncher, glued them and sealed it up with a clear resin drop.
Thanks for watching. Scale modeling is fun. Copyright 2020 at Ivan Terrible. I am not an expert but I love creating dioramas. See you on my next build.